Hello tubers, I had a bit of a break off uh, since the other day because of the harvest and everything it was a bit uh, taxing <laughs> but I've got quite a good one for you today, boy it's hot today um, I had my birthday last month and I bought myself a bit of a, a well not a new toy actually it was a this is what it is, it's a Garrett Pro Pointer but it's a Z-Link Pro Pointer so it attaches to my Z-Link uh, Garrett earphones. So what I do is I switch my earphones on and that will flash and then I switch this on and it will connect to my earphones and everything every time I switch this pinpointer on you just hear it through the earphones, you don't hear nothing outside whatsoever. So then when I go to which, which metal detector I want to use, like uh, one of my older metal detectors, once that connection has been made between these two is right then uh, and the other part of the Z-Link that's onto the metal detector like the CTX or the Tesoro or whatever I just press the button there and these link to that then so you can use these with any metal detector. Uh, brilliant bit of kit I really really like them. As you know I'm a real big Grey Ghost fan usually but since I've had these and their wireless ability it's really really uh, enjoy using the CTX more than having that cord all the time. Anyway but this is what this is about the Garrett uh, Z-Link Pro Pointer. I had a Garrett a good few years ago, a black one, an original one. It must be oh god seven or eight years ago now. It worked okay and I think it's because of the beach use it basically just started falsing and stuff. It didn't start to work properly. So I went over to a Pro Pointer 4. Really good, I like that because the ability to go silent where it just vibrates. So when you're on digs, if you haven't been on digs, as soon as you put your pinpointer on and you beep, 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 if you're doing that more than a few times, people look round and they're on you. If they know you're finding stuff, you've got people on you like flies round the proverbial crap, if you know what I mean. So the vibrating pinpointer is vital if you're on a dig so people don't know what you d if you'll find a hot spot. That's what I found anyway. So anyway, with this thing, uh, it was actually quite expensive this one because it had the Z-Link in. It was like 120 quid, which it did make me cringe a bit. But after using it for uh, about five or six days now, I'm quite impressed with it because the ability to keep your earphones on, because when you usually use your earphones with a pinpoint, you're going like this, aren't you? You're lifting it like that to hear what's going on. or and It is a pain. So um, with this one now, every time I turn this on, I hear the beeps. It's on vibrate there at the moment, but you can adjust this. So it's uh, it's not on vibrate and it's making a noise. So I think maybe I can do it now. So you see that's blinking. If I switch this on now, that's gone. I don't think you can hear it in there, but it's actually, even though this is vibrating, it's beeping in there. So uh, you can adjust all the tones and the sensitivity and the depth it seems to be very good on depth at the moment uh, I did have that mine lab one I'm not gonna lie to you it works okay but it's it isn't a very reliable thing I was quite disappointed in the oh uh, what what's it the way it's put together the mine lab metal detectors are really really good but I think they've done a bit of a gone a bit pear shaped on that or, or it's been made somewhere else because especially that bit under the under the when you put the cap on the battery doesn't stay tight but sometimes you just switch it on and it doesn't work correctly anyway so you've got to wait for that third beep third beep for that one but they've gone back to a this garret now this is uh, a little bit deeper to be honest with you and I do like the MI4 I really do like that thing but I thought I'd try something different and especially to go through the headphones. So, so far I really like this thing and it's about 10 or 20 quid more expensive than the normal one but it's well worth it. I'm really really uh, happy I bought it now. So I would say to anybody if you haven't tried these Garrett Z-Links and you've got an older detector that you love to use and you didn't like it Wi-Fi get some. 
it transforms it because uh, that Tesoro metal detector I use now it's so nice to use with these wireless uh, thing on it wireless headphones and you're non-tethered and it's a very very light detector as it is so with this being able to go into it as well technology is coming on brilliant isn't it so just a short one for me today and uh, good luck happy hunting and please subscribe